Chairwoman just mentioned that we should all have a chance to speak. Who mentioned it? You. I didn't say that. He said we would all have a chance to I didn't say that. Rewind the tape. We, on our way I got it on the tape. accident just happened to be at the corner of McDade and Springfield right. Road. There was a huge hmm. mess. I hope nobody died, but it's a possible fatal accident of somebody who was on their bike, hmm. and that's why we were here a, a minute or two late. So I, my apologies to everyone for, for us being late, but we would like a chance to speak. There, was, there were ambulances. Several injuries. Three ambulances. Fire. Uh, sir, put your hand up. Go ahead. Uh, give me your name and address, please. My name is Harold Finnegan. I live at 1121 Main Street in Darby. Excuse me. Are you with Mr. Finnegan? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. But he was here first. I don't mean to interrupt you. Is there anybody else? There were three hands left that wanted to speak. They didn't put their name. They didn't put their name, just so we know how many are left so before. Just, just to remind you, though, if, I mean, I don't mean to interrupt the Madam Chair, but we, there is a good bit of people that still want to speak, and we ask that you just keep it uh, to the top. <coughs> All right, thank you. We thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak tonight. Uh, first of all, we heard about the potential financial benefits for Darby Borough. Uh, the assessment was not an independent assessment, and there was no real facts backing it up. I have yet to see any demand studies provided. I would ask, uh, particularly Mr. Satnix here, who's the developer, if the information that you have developed uh, proposing this will be made available for the public to review and comment on. Perhaps you could publish your economic uh, impact statement online so we could review the, the data and comment. I think that would go a long way to assuage people's concerns that whatever would be built there would not cannibalize existing businesses in the district nor run off other businesses that are starting up the, at this moment in uh, correct, connect, uh, direct opposition to it. Uh, furthermore, uh, I saw no evidence whatsoever that there is any immediate plan for historic preservation. There was some inconclusive language offered that maybe something in the future would be done. Okay, well maybe something in the future would not be done. Okay. Uh, there was also a undetermined information provided as to what would be done with the sewer system. There was no data provided as to what the proposed flow would be generated from the facility or what the capacity is of the existing sewer lines to accept that flow or what the potential impact would be. There was also no specific information provided on the stormwater plan. We did learn that 41% uh, is impervious. But we do know that nothing has ever been built there in the history of mankind, and it has it is now 100% pervious. Okay, and we do know that Darby Borough Creek floods all the time. Uh, further on the traffic issue, what is the projected peak flow rate? Haven't heard that. Have no information whatsoever. Again, I suggest that why don't you put this information, make it public, put it up on your website give the public an opportunity to review it and uh, provide you feedback. I want to leave everyone with one idea, okay? Our president, the nation, and the world are focused right now on what's happened in the Gulf. And what happened in the Gulf was a rush to do something without any consideration of what are the potential consequences. And now we see what the potential consequences are, and they're devastating for people that were not even considered when BP went out there and started drilling. All right? And I just suggest to you, please, if this is a good idea, it'll be a good idea in a year. If this is a good idea, it'll be a good idea in six months. So why do we need to rush to judgment? Let's consider the evidence. 
If the evidence leads us into the, into the direction of building, then we should build. I want to mention one last thing, and then I'll shut up and sit down. All right? There has been several comments here suggesting that the borough will look out for and be considerate of the uh, rainwater runoff. I can tell you right now with my property that the State Dep Department of Environmental Resources reviewed the uh, rainwater runoff that I'm receiving from the borough and has sent them a letter last December to review and correct the situation which has yet to be responded to. All right. So there is no evidence that I can see that the borough actually responds to these topics. Mm. All right, I want to thank you and just consider a rush to judgment and what it can mean for all of us in the long run. Thank you. Thank you.